is creating the database uh, with my um, Microsoft SQL, right? So what we'll do is connect first to our SQL server. So this is using Microsoft SQL server, right? Easier and faster to just create a database, right? So you'd come here to databases, create the database and call it voting database. So this is this voting uh, database. So what I would wanna create first is my first table, which is the table that's gonna store my users. So I wanna have the user ID, right, which is just gonna be an integer to store a unique um, integer of the, like the user ID. You'd wanna have a username for the username. Um, this is of type var char. Uh, this is var char uh, 225, right? This is just enough for that. Ah, man, pressed on caps, password, and then that's gonna be var char, right? And that's 225. That's more than enough for the password. Shouldn't allow nulls. I want to create this to a primary key, save that table, call this table our user table, right? We've saved that. If we click on this guy over here, it will automatically refresh. So we'll see this user table that we just created. Or we can right click on that, click the refresher, and here we go. So the next table we want to create is our parties uh, table. So the parties table is basically. <clears throat> the parties that we have right the different parties we have <laughs> so we'll just say party i know it sounds weird but party id that's int um and then uh name uh, uh just call that name varchar i think a varchar is pretty much okay for the name i'll have this image and this image will probably be a text to just store that image think text is still pretty much uh, okay and then we'll just have a vote count this vote count is, will be probably like an integer to store like the number of people who have voted for that specific party right i'd want to set this to our primary key if i save this i'll say parties so yeah i know to other people in other countries this might sound a bit funny that i'm calling it parties but we call them parties i don't know what other countries call their parties <laughs> okay um so now we'll have another table called um this will be user vote so this will just basically store the user's vote so we'll have the user id and then we'll have an integer that shouldn't be now and then we've got a party id and this will be an integer and that shouldn't be now uh, in terms of storing the date time i don't think that's efficient because we had stated that they'll be voting uh so this is user vote because we have already stated that they'll be voting on the first of november so i mean why would we want to keep like a date and time whereby the voting day is just on november unless if we had to add a requirement for the special votes but anyways so that is what it is um if we have to refresh for that now what will happen we'll then go to the relationships to create the relationships for our database oh what am i doing now what am i doing what did i do so I'll create a new database diagram, say yes, click control and click on them. Those all, all of them are meant to say all those tables, right? Just try to order them a bit because this user table, user votes, I mean to say will be like a bridging table. So I would want to say control, um, 
click first the first one control and then click the second one right click set them both to primary key right you can just click on this drag that to that right and then you'd want this guy and this table to be the primary key and a foreign key of that bridging table right and then accept right do the same thing for this one connect that to that um you can hard code this if you want to but i mean i've got one day to call this whole system so i'll go with the easiest way to create a database right if i were to save this and call it relationship data <laughs> data this will be the name of this relationship data stuff it is uh oh yeah so what i would want to also do here is come to the properties so i'll right click on that properties uh because i don't want to uh like create an id each time a user's added in the table i want that to be auto incremented ah uh, i probably made uh a mistake a bit if i may say because i didn't add like sort of like your id number but i mean do we need an id number i guess we do uh let's come here okay we'll just make your username like the id number i think that makes sense so we'll just make the username the id number uh, and then here same thing here you'd want to say identity uh, specification double click on that or you can click on this arrow key say yes so this will auto increment your ids as a new party is added it will just yeah add that new id and i guess with that being said we are probably done with our database yeah it's actually done our database is actually done we already have that uh, database so that's it for creating the database but if ever we encounter some bit of some issues on the api side if there's things that we forgot we'll then add to the database but for now i think we're done with the database that is what we need for the system just three tables <laughs> oh yeah. thanks please don't forget to like share and subscribe guys and stay tuned for the next video where we'll be building the api